Just a word of warning when it comes to the 124 rear headrests and how to remove them. Um, the original manual uh, does not take into consideration that these cars are 30 years and older uh, and that these rear uh, hat shelves have been sitting in the sun for God knows how many years. And there is plastic embrittlement going on. So to remove the rear headrests, it says to start by prying out these covers uh, with a wedge. However, I can pretty much guarantee that these covers will explode when you put the slightest amount of pressure on them. If your car has been in a hot climate like Australia and spent any amount of time in the sun. With my red 124 project, uh, this is the only cover that survived because I actually got in and released it from underneath. Um, all of the other three I tried to pry out from the top uh, just exploded instantly. Um, and as far as I'm aware, black was the only colour still available at the time. I don't even know if that's still available now. Um, other colours uh, may be unobtainium. Uh, it is mandatory to remove that because of the shape of the arms. Uh, the headrest can't be removed with those left in place, so you do have to remove them. But you can unclip them from underneath, from inside, um, just with finger pressure on the four clips there, and hopefully they don't break off. I was successful um, with this extremely baked example on my red project. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate this on my blue-black car because as far as I'm aware, they're not available anymore and I have no reason to remove the headrests. Uh, but I will show you the access from underneath. And out of interest, uh, once you've got those removed, you have access to the locking mechanisms either side and you just use a flat blade screwdriver to push those down. They are spring-loaded. Um, I'll show you that from underneath as well. So this is my blue black 124 and as promised I'm going to show you how to remove those plastic covers from the back side to remove these headrests. I wouldn't dare try to pry them out from the top, they've already started to look like they're changing colour due to sun damage. And that's just a recipe for exploded plastic unfortunately. This back cover is not overly hard to remove, um, it just is locked in by the side carpets and also these two folded tabs at the top as well. It only requires uh, finger pressure to unfold those. So firstly you do need to get into the rear of the car to access these uh, bits and pieces nice and easily. Uh, these tabs fold down just with one finger's strength worth of uh, pressure. Um, you are dealing with metal there, so eventually that might break if you do it too often. Um, incidentally, that's the uh, fuel level sender that you have access to with this removed as well. And here we can see one of the world's most over-engineered uh, rear headrest mounts. And that is the uh, vacuum box there that allows this to flop backwards at the uh, operation of the switch on the dash. Uh, it's quite an impressive mechanism. So this is the back side of those plastic covers. As you can see, you have full access to those clips. There's no need to put their lives at risk by prying from the top side if you can get into the rear. Um, I just used finger pressure. Uh, it can be quite annoying, but they do come out this way. And then you pretty much guarantee their safety. And this is the locking mechanism as well. Uh, which is accessible from the top once those covers are removed. Unfortunately, the headrests can't be removed with those covers in place. Just as a bit of uh, bonus, you can get to see the operation of this uh, mechanism now with a hand vacuum pump, just to make sure that's all working. I know it is, but I just wanted to see it firsthand. And you can see those locking mechanisms uh, more clearly now. Uh, they're just pulling out pins in the end of those legs. So that's the uh, pin being retracted on the plastic lever. Um, you don't remove it with it in the uh, 
retracted position, you have to do it in the upright position. Uh, and these are, as mentioned, easily accessible up the top. Just some bonus content of my completely original uh, first aid kit that's uh, I'm not aware of being removed more than once by myself. I dare not even uh, try and stretch these elastic straps because, yeah, they're getting old. And I didn't even want to uh, force that because I don't want any breakage on this fragile but original interior.